writing under the direct influence and inspiration of the Holy Spirit, Paul the Apostle wrote, if even an angel of God comes with another gospel, he is accursed. By his own publicly stated confession, William B. Young is not by any scriptural definition a Christian. The man is a non-Christian. He flagrantly and openly rejects propitiation. He denies substitutionary atonement. The idea that Jesus died in our place having taken our sin is something he rejects. He rejects the gospel of Jesus Christ. Therefore, he rejects the true Jesus Christ. The Shock is a ridiculous book. A, a, a pregnant black woman being God and all this kind of this. It's all nonsense. But it has the capacity to seduce undiscerning spiritually gullible and naive and biblically ignorant Christians. The shameful spectacle of thousands, thousands of house groups, instead of studying the Word of God in their home Bible study groups, were studying the Shack, a book written by somebody who doesn't even believe in the Gospel. He doesn't believe what Jesus came and did. It's outrageous. It is a pseudo-logon, a false word of God. It is not compatible with the given word of God. Now they have made a movie using the skills of Hollywood to cajole and manipulate people. The people being taken in by this, not all of them, but many of them women, are simply the victims of a, I don't know how to put this politely, an emotionally charged religiosity that is manipulative, which they vainly imagine to be spiritual. It's not a question of the shack is someone shoveling pseudo-spiritual manure. No, you need a bulldozer to remove that much muck. That's what it is. Pure, unadulterated, religious muck attempting to masquerade as Christianity, which it is not. The people who are blessed by it are seduced by it. They're thinking with their emotions instead of their brains, and they're substituting some kind of a vain mysticism for scriptural spirituality. Remember, the love of Jesus can only abound, according to Philippians 1.9, where there's knowledge of his word and discernment. Otherwise, there's not the love of Jesus. People will tell you religious garbage when they read that book. Oh, I was so blessed and it was so loving. It's not the love of Christ. It's carnal and stupid. There's no knowledge of his word and there's no discernment. How can you read a book by somebody who denies the scriptural gospel of Jesus Christ and who says Jesus did not die for your sin? If you are reading and believing in a book that says Jesus did not die for your sin, you are rejecting the real gospel and you are rejecting the real Jesus Christ. I hate that book. I despise that book. And I despise that film. No true child of God would waste their time of having anything other to do with that book than putting a match to it. And they would certainly not go see such a stupid, stupid movie. That's what it is. That's all it is. It's a lie of the devil. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless and thank you. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale 
that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, a questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.